guys welcome back to another flawless friday video today i'm going to be showing you how i make my spaghetti sauce from scratch you will need two red bell peppers um, this is about 24 roma tomatoes you're going to need fresh basil you need three onions i use two yellow onions and i'm going to rough chop them and then one red onion and you will need one fresh garlic clove as well as flawless flavor italian seasoning blend you need um olive oil or grapeseed oil and then some balsamic vinaigrette off camera i chopped all the tomatoes the red bell peppers um the yellow onion and the red onion um, i'm using two of the small for you pants and I just divided the mixture in half and it doesn't have to be perfect because after um, we do this I'm gonna blend it in my food processor anyway in each of these I have seven pieces of garlic I have seasoned each tray with a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper um, one teaspoon of salt and um, one teaspoon of flawless flavor Italian seasoning blend. So I put a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of um, flawless flavor um, Little Italy. Up next I bought this fresh basil and although my uh, Little Italy is seasoning blend do have dry basil in it. Um, I do just like to add some fresh basil. So I used this whole pack of basil. I basically just took the leaves off of its stem and just ripped it up and put it in here. So I got my measuring cups. I am going to put one third cup of grapeseed oil in this pan and one third grapeseed oil in this pan. Then I'm gonna put one fourth cup of balsamic vinaigrette in this pan, one fourth cup of balsamic vinaigrette in that pan. The hands need to be clean. Now I'm just gonna mix it. And all the seasonings, you want to make sure everything is evenly distributed. This smells so delicious already, guys. Preheated my oven to 450 degrees. I'm going to put these pans in the oven uncovered. Um, you want to roast this pan for an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven, let it cook for an hour and 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you what this looks like and then what steps we do next. Okay, hey guys. The tomatoes, onions, and bell peppers came out of the oven. It roasted for an hour and 15 minutes. At the 35 minute mark, I did stir it. I'm using my Swan Ladle from Flawless Flavor. Um, it did make some juices, which is good because you're going to use the juices um, to blend it up. This smell absolutely amazing, guys. I'm going to use this spoon to um, put some of the mixture in my food processor and I'm going to blend this up in batches. Once I'm done, I will t um, taste it and adjust the taste for any salt or extra seasonings I will need and I will keep you guys posted. I like mine's chunky. I'm gonna post this for a little bit. Look at that guys, nice. It is chunky, that's how I like it. And I'm going to pour this in a mason jar and then continue to make batches until this is all done. So I have blended up the two pans and this is how much I got. I got this big mason jar full. If you don't want to make this much, you can cut this recipe by half. Um, however, this will um, hold in your fridge for a good three to four weeks. Um, so I did taste this and I need a tablespoon more of balsamic vinegar. That's about a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And a 
half a teaspoon of Little Italy from Flawless Flavor. I'm gonna mix this up. Again, using my Swan in a Million spoon from Flawless Flavor. Look how chunky and nice this is. I will let this cool down before you put the lid on it. And guys, there you have it. That's how you make homemade pasta sauce. And don't forget to visit www.flawlessflavor.net for any of your gourmet seasoning and tea needs, as well as this cute ladle called Swan in a Million.